Hey guys, uh, welcome to today's video where I have been exposed or at least I'm going to expose myself. Not like that, let's keep it PG. I <laughs> have to admit that I have decided to try fake plants in my bioactive tanks. Okay, so hear me out. So in Gizmo and Diego's tanks, you know, we have some plants, the air plants. I mean, they could be dead, but they look alive. It's all good. Diego's air plant even has some sort of flower, I think, emerging in the middle. However, what I'm really struggling with is succulents. The main thing I find difficult about keeping succulents um, is watering them. Now, I have tried syringe watering them. I've tried misting them. I've tried completely saturating them in water. They just don't do well. Um, this substrate similar to like any sort of succulent or cactus substrate you get when you put water on it the water runs over the top so you kind of have to wait for it to soak in now normally if you've got a succulent or cactus you probably water from the bottom but when you have a tank like this you can't really do that so i am struggling a lot however i'm not giving up i've got my drainage layer i've got my grow fly i don't want to give up <laughs> so what i'm really doing is faking it till i make it now, Custom Reptile Habitats very generously sent me some fake plants that you can use in arid tanks. So these are the first two. These are the biggest. Um, these are, I guess, types of grass. I'll put their names up on the screen. Now, these two do actually come in pots and they're pretty much, you know, solid in there. Um, quite weighty. They're a decent weight. And I will say for me personally, I do prefer for the plants to look like they're just part of the landscape rather than being in pots but i know some people do actually do bioactive tanks but keep their part plants in pots so if you do that can you let me know why because i don't like being able to see the pots but i imagine it makes watering a lot easier um but what i will do when trying to add these to the tank is kind of try to hide the pots but overall i think they're a really nice decent uh grassy arid looking plant for the tank then we have these two, so once again they're kind of, this one reminds me of the air plant that I've got in the tank. This one is a little more greener, a lot leafier, um, but they don't come in pots so we can probably wedge them in place. Um, this is probably my favourite because it goes with the tank a lot more than this one, but we will, we'll try both. Then we have three smaller versions, so this one reminds me of an ornamental cabbage. I like it. Then we have this one which is really interesting because it's got this interesting detail here. It's not completely perfect. I like that. And then we have this one that has a nice pop of colour. Then we have a bunch of succulents. So like I said, be sure to let me know in the comments what's your favourites, what you'd love to see in a kit. I have to say, these are really tough, really nice weight to them. Like, I feel like if you put these in with, say, a bearded dragon that might be inclined to nibble on a plant, they wouldn't get away with it on this because it is nice and tough. Um, I probably won't be able to fit every single plant in the tanks because they might be overdoing it. And I want to keep some aside for, like, minis upgrade and stuff. But let's go and see how these look in the tank. Okay, I've seen a problem. So this particular plant might be too tall for this height of tank. I think it will fit in Diego's tank though.
okay, but why do I kind of prefer this with the fake plants? Like, so as you probably saw, I was really trying hard to hide that pot. And what I've done now is if Diego comes out the back of his warm hide, he can go here. And there's actually a bit that he can go here and all around here. So it's like a maze. So it's still a hide, but it also masks the pot. But as I said, some people like that look. So maybe this will work for you. But I do really like this. Um, this succulent sits in here nicely obviously this is the real succulent um i popped one up there for some color and i thought i'd try out this one here i feel like that's bare but what i've done in both these tanks is take out the air plants because they need a good water um but i'll add them back in later i really like this area in gizmo's tank because i love the like silvery greeny blue but then the pop of color um you may have seen me taking the stalks off of these and with this one i did have to trim it so you might need pliers for that and I felt bad like cutting them down but if you want them to fit properly um, sometimes you need to do that. The substrate isn't super deep and there's a drainage layer so I did have to make some adjustments but you know it's already added a little bit of life. Sure it's fake life but for now whilst I'm still trying to work out how to keep succulents alive it helps. So these are some of the plants I didn't get to use but um, obviously you don't want to like overdo it and I can always keep these for Minnie's upgrade, for Maui, I can put them around my room because I love plants in this room. Um, but let me know below what plants you like because they may end up in the Leopard Gecko starter kit and I will leave links to all these plants below so go check that out. But thank you for watching guys and goodbye.